But I want to discuss Gonzalo Higuain Jensen, whether he's good enough to be a Chelsea player in the long term, if we put aside the transfer ban, etc. Well, for me, uh, the way I say before, it's like uh, it depends on the manager they think he won't play, the way he won't play football. Like uh, with the Tiger Man, with uh, the smart player moving, uh, score goals, it's like uh, dribbling. Of course, uh, it's, it won't be different. We don't know exactly uh, the manager you want. The way he prefer Iguain, why he's more adapted with uh, Hazard or Williams, he's more technique, he's, uh, he, he has him before, he knows very well uh, Iguain about the mentality, about the spirit. Of course, uh, for me, the one I, he living is uh, uh, Morata. Morata. Morata for me is like the, the, the real striker. I, I, I see him like Benzema a little bit, technically soft, uh, uh, score goals, uh, uh, no selfish, uh, run. Not, I think he's more quick than uh, Higuain and uh, Giroud. Who's been the best Chelsea striker since Drogba left? Diego Costa. Costa. Yeah, I think Costa's been incredible. He, he, he lives on the edge. He knows what he's doing. But when I look at a centre forward, it's not okay we talk about the goals. And we spoke about Lukaku with this. You talk about the goals they score, but it's what they do for their teammates. Diego Costa was so clever, dropping off, creating space in behind. And let's, let's have a look at Chelsea, them going forward now. They are still very similar to when Diego Costa was here. There's not been a huge changes in terms of the plays and them forward-thinking positions. So therefore, you need a centre forward that is similar to Diego Costa. Now, Higuain is a fantastic centre forward. He's a complete opposite. To the way that to the way that Diego Costa plays, so you know from from that perspective, from that point of view, you know I look at what they have at the moment, and it's not comparing strikers Giroud and Higuain. It's comparing and saying who is the best for Chelsea, the way that Chelsea play at the moment. We've seen Sarri play with a false nine at times. Well, we've seen him play with great success with Higuain in Italy, but the dynamics, the league are very different. There's no doubt about that. You know we've we, we've looked we've looked at the. The, the pace of the game here. More often than not, Chelsea are going to be playing against teams. If I'm playing against Chelsea, I'm playing on the edge of my own 18-yard box. I'm sitting back, I'm allowing you to come onto us and we're going to counter-attack you. So there's no pace, there's no space in behind to try and take advantage of. So you have to have a centre forward that's going to say, I'm going to take you with me. I'm going to take you for a walk and I'm going to make you come up the pitch. And when you come up the pitch, as you come up the pitch, one of my midfielders is going to cross you. Whether it be Hazard, whether it be Willian, whether it be hudson who unfortunately is injured now. You know, whoever it may be, even a runner from midfield, but you have to create that opportunity. And in, a, in order to be able to do that, you have to have a centre forward that's very clever at dropping off into the midfield area. What's your take on players coming from overseas and perhaps struggling? Because you've obviously made the move from Spain to England yourself. It's <laughs> difficult, right? It is difficult to adapt. Of course, of course it's difficult. I remember many times we talk about friends sometimes. It will be harder play in the Premier League at the beginning. No? I need to change the way I play. Uh, the second ball is always contact. Uh, long ball, fight, uh, second ball, play. It's, it's, it's so different. I need to mix uh, between uh, fight, uh, between play my football and uh, two touch, one touch. Uh. Did you did you speak to anybody French who had played in England? Of Ginola, or Cantona? Or? No, no, no. Nobody? No. no one gave you advice? I'm coming like I'm here, surprise. <laughs> <But> yes. <laughs> You're a manager, so from your perspective, you bring a player from a foreign country. As a manager, you look at them and you think, right, okay, I know I'm not going to see the best of you for how long? How long do you give a player that, that, that comes from abroad? Because it's very, obviously very difficult. You've got to acclimatise, you've got to get used to the different, the different area where of you are, not just on the pitch, but off the pitch as well. So you as a manager, when a player comes to a football club who may be from another country, what's the biggest thing for you where you're saying, right, OK, I'm going to give you this amount of time, but by then you need to be established? Yeah, you, I think for being manager, I need to buy the player for the identity for the club, mm. first thing. You understand why I buy him for playing my team? It's like fighter, play for this kind of teammate. Make your job for this kind of player, make success front and you. For this guy, he make success front and you, always you wanna have balance. Mm -hmm. because you want make stability. It's like the way we play, like Lampa, when I'm coming, I didn't know Lampa, I didn't know all my teammates. But I, I meet them there, I see 
great player, uh, like uh, focused about the job, fight. Uh, we started talking together, and uh, one day I said, listen, uh, you go. Okay. Mm. We need you to score goals, uh, you walk, you come back. But I want to be there behind you. When has the body gone white? I'm going a little bit in the white, uh, waiting, waiting, until you coming a little bit. Eh? Yeah. I want to do my job. You know, it's like uh, talking together with teammates to make better the team, make better the mm. balance. Eh? Also, we're talking about uh, Joe Cole, uh, Front, uh, Robin, Duff. Can I, a, can I also ask then, what about someone that was given time, Didi Drogba? Because you would have been an opponent of Drogba, yeah. you would have been a teammate of Drogba when he first came to England. And if memory serves me right, his first season wasn't the greatest. What was your perspective on playing, now a Chelsea legend? Yeah, pl playing against someone like Drogba is, you know, I was very fortunate to, or unfortunate as, <laughs> as his how career went on and he got on stronger. But I was in a position where year after year playing against him, you saw the improvement, you saw him adjusting. Likewise with Cristiano Ronaldo. You know, I, I, I came up in direct comparison with it. Well, that, playing against him as a left back and him playing on the right wing. But year after year, you saw them improving. And I think from a manager's perspective, of a teammate's um, perspective, as long as you see a player starting to adapt, wanting to adapt, then there's absolutely there's absolutely no problem. But I'm I, I am really eager from from someone from the outside looking in, as a player looking at a manager, which you are now. What's the big thing for you when a player comes into a football club, as in terms of the injustice? Is it is it seeing the gradual process? Or is there something where you go, right, okay, this is what you have to do? Or is it all about slowly but surely adjusting? It's different. In general, I look at the player, he's, uh, he's uh, focused, he won't learn. Yeah. For me, it's very important. Just see my player, listen to me, he won't learn. I give everything for him. Doesn't matter if he makes mistake. Mm. At all the time, I take the, the mistake, he makes progress. Yeah. Nobody worry about the mistake. Mm. Try again, try again, try again. You won't make success. You understand why you make mistake all the time. It, it's more important the player you understand. The football is make mistake for be better. The player is always uh, make excuses, put behind. You know, want progress. You want to use the system. Mm. It, all the time, I, I think I tell. All the time, you choose my player up in a in a good way, not in a bad way. So you mm. don't know sometimes the player is not stronger in the mind. You need also the understand them yes. exactly.